Also making dreams come true and at a young age is a Brookfield teenager proving he's a champion not only as a chess player but social entrepreneur. Michael Schlesinger explains how he's unleashing the power of pawns to honor the memory of a fellow chess player and generate interest in a board game that can open doors of opportunity for young people. The judging panel has selected Krish Sharma of Power of Pawns, the winner of the Junior Achievement of Wisconsin 2023 Young Entrepreneur Live Competition. Krish, congratulations on your $10,000 scholarship. And I think it's fair to speak for all of us when we say we cannot wait to see where you go. Congratulations. It's checkmate across the board for Chris Sharma. The 16-year-old who attends Brookfield Academy just got some major money and recognition for a game he's been playing since the age of six. Anyone can play the game casually with their friends. Um, it's really something that gets you going, get, makes you think. Krish was in the running against three other young entrepreneurs across the Badger State, all who had a business plan and passion. Enough to impress a panel of five judges, including Greg Marcus, president of the Marcus Corporation, and Christine Specht, CEO of Cousin Subs. At first, I was super duper, I was, I was a little bit nervous, and, and um, it was kind of just, you know, the bright lights and everything. But once I got into it, it was really, it was really fun. These are amazing business people. Junior Achievement of Wisconsin Senior Development Director Jennifer Grinowitz says this competition is tough. They have to start a business from scratch, which means it can't be something that is uh, a franchise. It can't be something that other people are doing. It has to be theirs from the beginning. They need to be the owner and the operator. They also have to share with us all their financials. They need to share with us their plan. In case you were wondering why Krish calls his nonprofit Power of Pawns, look no further than what his favorite chess piece is, the pawn itself. And it can become crucial, especially once you get really good at chess. Uh, it, it's a piece that isn't worth a lot, but can be very important to the game. So I think there's a lesson to be learned there, and it's a pretty important piece. His business was actually born out of the pandemic. I saw an increase in online uh, tournaments and stuff like that, so I decided I wanted to start teaching online, so that's where I started. and. From there, I kind of started teaching in person. Community outreach is so important to Krish. Last fall, CBS 58 reported on a chess tournament he organized in memory of another avid chess player and friend who died in a plane crash. Money raised went to a nonprofit set up in Daniel Perlman's name. They all know who he was because he was that talented of a chess player. They all know that he was not only a great chess player, he was passionate about chess. These days, the Hindu Temple of Wisconsin is where you'll find this chess champ in person, teaching elementary and middle schoolers. Thinking ahead, making sure that you know what your opponent's gonna do, their ideas, their strategies, um, and that's kind of the biggest thing. If, you, if you're able to tell what your opponent's trying to do, most of the times, strong chess players are, are they're able to anticipate that like maybe three, four moves ahead at the time, so, so yeah, so. If you're able to do that, you'll probably be a very strong player. The overall concept is about coaching and preparing youngsters to compete at tourney levels while developing certain cognitive skills. It teaches kids how to critically think. It teaches them how to make decisions, make important decisions, teach them how to play under pressure, all very important things that they can use later on in their life. Power of Pawns is entirely run by high school students. Since the beginning, at least 150 children across Wisconsin, Massachusetts, and California have been coached. The organization has also helped host four tournaments, including a national one. On this last stop of his journey, the JA Achievement Competition, younger kids have actually won it. A fifth grader even took top prize. Event organizers and and those who participated, like Chris, say you shouldn't be intimidated, no matter the age. Believe in your own business, and it's okay to fail. Taking the risk and going out there is the first step and really the most important step, so don't be afraid. Those with JA say even if you don't come in first place, this global nonprofit centered around youth work readiness and financial literacy can still be a major resource for you. You can't fail. You can't fail. Whether you make it on the competition or not, we're going to have people that help you. We want to build your business. As far as this year's winner goes, he's planning on attending college soon while growing his initiative even more. In the meantime, he has a message for anyone interested in his favorite board game. Go on chess.com, play a couple games, you know, have some fun, and, and I think just, just enjoy.